by faith. Sufficient rest. Are we daily praying and seeking God um, for what his will is for our life, resting in his word? And also routine checkups. Are we attending services regularly? I would venture and say that few people consider the state of their finances when reflecting on whether their life is healthy. Mm -hmm. Whether their life is in a healthy balance. We talked about balance earlier. Mm -hmm. Wellness takes place when you are physically, spiritually, mentally, and socially healthy. Mm -hmm. If any of these areas are off, then your overall health has the potential to decrease. Again, we just heard that. So I thank God for consideration on this morning. Amen. <laughs> My assignment today is to share with you money matters. Okay? Now, why does money matter? And how does money matter? Money matters because anxiety and stress over finances affects our overall well-being. Many health problems are linked to anxiety and stress as a result of money problems. Um, marriages, we talked about um, marriages in the last session, and um, sometimes having a child or health issues can destroy a marriage. Well, money can destroy a marriage as well. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, also, unhealthy coping behaviors that we just talked about are practiced such as drinking, smoking, and overeating as a result of money problems. From a spiritual perspective, financial stress causes some to withdraw from church attendance mm -hmm. and others to withdraw from fellowship with God altogether. Mm -hmm. So again, money does matter when it comes to health. It matters mm -hmm. on our physical health and also our spiritual health. We must acknowledge that money does matter and we must take the necessary steps to improve our financial health, mm -hmm. which will result in becoming an overall healthy woman or man of God. <coughs> so can I start um, by sharing a life-changing secret with you? This actually <coughs> helped change uh, my life. <coughs> when it comes to money and being um, financially free or walking to financially, financial freedom, more money does not fix your money problems. Amen. It doesn't. Amen. It doesn't. I'll say it again. Amen. Having more money Amen. does not fix your money problem. Amen. Because what happens? The more money you get, the more money we spend. Mm -hmm. Naturally, um, when we get more money, we don't tend, especially in our community, mm -hmm. in the African American Amen. community, we do not invest the more money that we get. Okay, think about that tax income um, refund check that you get. What do we do with it? We spend it. <coughs> think about the things that we spend it on. Are we using it to pay off debt? Are we using it to um, invest into retirement? Are we using it to set up a college fund for our children? Or are we using it to go on a vacation, are we using it to um, get a new wardrobe, are we using it to, you know, do other things. And not that those things are bad, mm -hmm. but they have to be done in balance. Amen. Okay? Amen. Believe it or not, you probably make enough money right now to be financially healthy. You do. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Not the amount of money that you possess that makes the difference, but what you do with the money that you acquire Amen. that causes you to experience either financial success or financial hardship. So it's what we do with the money that we have. Um, so this brings us to the first bullet you have on your page here.